Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are checking out a brand new roguelike that came out in 1.0. I guess it's not, br it's brand new in 1.0, uh, but it is Halls of Torment. I think I've had some people ask me to check this game out, uh, but it seems like a game that's like a bullet heaven, almost like Vampire Survivors, but it's also kind of very themed around like the old school games like Diablo, like the original Diablos and stuff like that, uh, and it looks incredible. I mean, this game has overwhelming positive reviews on Steam, uh, and uh, I was given a free copy of the game to check it out, not a sponsorship or anything, but, you know, they wanted me to check it out, and I was like, shit, that looks like a good game, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna play a game that I think looks like a good game, uh, Halls of Torment. Choose a hero, so I guess we only have one hero right now, right? The Swordsman focuses on survivability, scales well with area and range. Each level, I guess, we get more base damage of the Zweilander, uh, definitely pronouncing that wrong, more base reach, base area, health damage, and we have the Zwarlanda uh, with physical melee damage enemies in a medium-sized Kona direction aimed. Okay, we've, we've done- Oh, it just puts us in! Oh no, this is probably like a hub world. This is sick. Whoa! Registers of Halls. Choose your destination in the Halls of Torment. Okay, well we're going to the Haunted Caves. Sounds good to me. I don't know what to do. But, uh, yeah. Also, Marcel- Marcel says hi to YouTube. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. So we move. We aim an attack. You can also toggle auto attack. Oh, so it's an auto, like, you know, bullet heaven. Oh, wait, and then it said toggle auto aim. How did we toggle auto aim? I didn't get to see that. Um, there is Twitch chat polls. Maybe we try that out in the future. Um, okay, auto aim. Okay, auto, okay, you could turn auto aim on. I, I will try not doing auto aim at first. I'm gonna play this game like we're playing Diablo. We're playing Diablo here. Oh shit. Okay. We've already we've already survived the haunted caverns until there are 26 minutes left. So we get to choose a trait. More crit chance, more pickup range, more force, which improves different parameters depending on the weapon skill ability. Please check their stats to learn which is affected by force or crit bonus. Let's get pickup range for right now here. Let's get let's get pickup range for now here. Uh, also, yeah, I I didn't really know where to put my camera. More attack speed, more health, more defense. Let's get more attack speed here. Um, so I am covering. I just want you guys to see it. Oh my, am I getting called again? I'm getting another call. Okay, I'm getting another call from the mortgage. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to answer it this time here. Um, but yeah, so I'm covering that, but at least you guys are able to see the actual health values, I think is the uh, the most important part here. Because I think regardless, I'm going to, uh, regardless, I'm going to be uh, covering something here, you know. Put the camera in the bottom center. <laughs> We've tried that for other games and it's always a little bit weird when we do that. Okay, base defense, crit chance, base health. Uh, okay, let's do crit chance. Let's do crit chance here. So where's the timer? The, okay, the timer's on the bottom right here. Take the call, just restart the video. I'll, I'll call him back after the video. I, I believe in this build. I've never played this game, but I believe in the build. I believe in the build here. Okay, strength. Okay, damage. Yeah, we'll get damage. More damage here. Sounds pretty sick. Sounds pretty sick. This definitely does remind me, like I used to play uh, RuneScape as a kid. Kind of reminds me a little bit of RuneScape and then I think, I know I've played Diablo 3. I don't know if I've played any of the actual older Diablo games or anything like that. <sighs> um, Yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be anything here. Maybe it, I don't know. This The, the UI in this game's a little bit interesting. Okay, more crit chance, more crit chance. Cause yeah, the top left is our level. So we're level five. We get the levels up. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna be right side above money. Just corners ten. Oh, okay, okay. We got like little. Oh god. Oh god. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll try it. Let me know if you guys think this looks better. It's just always really awkward being in the middle of the screen. Yeah, this this feels awkward as hell to me, right? Right? Am I going crazy or does this feel awkward? If you guys are telling me you guys like this better, I suppose I will trust you guys. But I don't I don't know if this is actually better. Um, okay, base defense. Um, health and movement speed becomes smaller. <laughs> Here we get out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is this is this is the most professional thing I could do as a streamer here. This is this is this is what you guys come here for, right? Everybody now saying perfect. <laughs> Rotate 90 degrees. <laughs> At what point? Okay, 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 okay. 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 There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, uh, let's get some health regeneration, because as you guys can now see in the bottom left, as you guys can now see in the bottom left, uh, I'm, uh, I'm healing. I'm healing here. Oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're- For anyone that's watching this video and trying to like actually see this gameplay, I apologize. <clears throat> okay. Trait. Damage. Base defense. Okay, attack speed. Area would be pretty sick too. We're also getting kind of low. I don't like that. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Okay, but for real though? <laughs> For real though, I do think I should probably cover my health. Also, we're gonna die here. We're gonna die. I haven't been focusing. I haven't been a gamer. I need a better gamer chair. I need a better gamer chair. Okay, what is this? We get an ability? Okay, but yeah, but for real though. I think we, I think we go back here. I think I will make myself a bit smaller. So you can see that full thing. I do think this is the best place for me. <laughs> okay, so an ability. Summon metal orbs that circle around you and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible, permanent, and increase speed with your movement speed or arcane splinters. Shoots short range projectiles in a vertical spread pattern. Projectiles remain for a short while damaging enemies that touch them or lightning strike hits random enemies. Okay, let's get the orbs here. So now we want movement speed. Um, more crit bonus. Have you ever watched The Amazing Digital Circus? I have seen the pilot episode. The first episode was really good. I, I hadn't seen any more than that. But yeah, this game is very much like Vampire Survivors. In terms of, you know, being a bullet heaven or whatever. So we just need to, okay, we did it. We completed it. Survive the haunted cavern until there's only 26 minutes left. So I got the achievement that I needed to get here. Um, area and range for our main weapon, sure. That would be pretty good. So I imagine we're kind of supposed to die right now. I'm gonna try not to. Dude, hearing the skeletons crunch is very satisfying. Um, attack speed and crit chance. Kind of, we're trying to go for a uh, gold build, or not a gold build, but what is the pointer indicating? Uh, if you're talking about like this pointer, it's where I'm attacking. Oh, oh, you're talking about this. Oh, that is a good question. What is that? Oh, now there's like little demon things here. That is very far away, though. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to it here. And yeah, we completed the uh, the achievement or the challenge that we had in the top left. Oh shit, but now there's a new ability down there as well? Did I miss that? Okay, we got a carrot. That fire's pretty good. Have you tried Neon Abyss? I, uh, that was one of our uh, longer series back then. If, uh, if you like Neon, uh, oh wait, Neon, yeah, yeah, Neon Abyss. That was the, uh, yeah. I think I made like 20 plus videos on that game. So if you like that game, we have a whole playlist from back in the day. We did like all of the alternate routes you could do. We pretty much did everything that there was to do in that game. 
Okay, we're gonna just buff our damage. If you watch that series, you know, you gotta prepare for seeing Babyface TTG. Oh, we finally found out what's over here. What is this? Temporary damage bonus thanks to Unholy something. But we're gonna figure out what's up here. And then I guess go all the way back down to gather the experience we missed and then get whatever the hell's down there. Or the ability. Okay, yeah, what is this? Is it just a level up? Base re okay, let's get base regeneration. Movement speed. Ah, movement speed's kind of what we want, though. To level up the orbs, I'll do that. So what did we get? Oh, is that a vacuum? Or what the hell was that? Oh, gosh. Okay, got an achievement for doing... A bunch of damage, 200,000 damage with our main weapon here. Okay, we're gonna get more base health. Oh, dude, these, okay, there's like actual boss fights here. So I'm gonna try to bring him down so I can get the uh, new ability here. It's good that we got the vacuum. I don't know if we just grabbed it, if all that was was a vacuum. Been playing Neon Abyss recently, trying to get to Kronos or the true bosses. Yeah, yeah, all of those were a ton of fun to do. Um, so if you guys like that game, once again, you're gonna have to get past uh, Babyface TTG. Um, oh shit. But that was a really, really fun series. Gotta check it out because I stumbled on it. It's an incredible game. I know a lot of other YouTubers hated that game. I didn't. I loved that game. Um, okay, attack speed and crit chance. What if we just win our first run? No, not babyface TTG. He's the spawn of Satan. <laughs> the true final boss, babyface TTG. <laughs> Get off my dick! Uh oh, I think we're gonna die. Due to aggressive dick riding. Oh! Okay, okay, we're just gonna, you know. We got the cheese. He didn't go in the fire, unfortunately. Get off of me. Defeat the imp chieftain. Whoa, whoa, there's equipment here. Play to boots, base defense, base block strength, base defense, movement speed. Okay, base defense and movement speed. Because movement speed helps us with those orbs, I guess. So now we're still going to try to go down. Because I don't know if this is like Vampire Survivors where it's so achievement based where... Oh, I had auto attack on that whole time. But even if you have auto attack on, you can, you can still aim, which is really cool. Because obviously, most of the things in Vampire Survivors, you are not allowed to aim. So just being able to do that adds a lot more depth. That makes it feels more, more like something like Diablo, you know, than just something like Vampire Survivors. Okay, so now the skeletons have shields. Now they've got shields. I love the sounds of the skeleton, though. The skeleton's dying. I feel like we might lose here soon, though, to be honest. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. But we did the achievement. So we completed a bunch of quests. First try, Cavern Survivor, Swordplay Master, Imp Chieftain, Obulus. Okay, return to camp. This is Halls of Torment. Uh, a roguelike, okay, whoa. So now, ooh! So now we can do the archer. We've unlocked the archer here. Um, fast here with high crit chance and multi-strike values. Each level does the base damage and piercing of the bow, movement speed and crit chance. And the bow fires three arrows and a fan. Okay, so we'll try the archer here. So what is the rest of this camp stuff? Quests. So we have two out of 31 quests in there and chapters. Milestones, I love this, because this is one of the best reasons why Vampire Survivors was as good as it was, was the quests. It's so good, it also looks like the more quests we complete, the more XP you get, uh, which is uh, really cool. 
I like the idea of equipment as a form of meta progression. Yeah, I'm curious if we still have that or not. Like, does this guy then have it? I don't know. We can do all this other quirky stuff. Okay, whatever. I want the ranger though. So that's the quests, right? So there's... Now we want, like... Uh, survive the haunted caverns until there's 14 minutes left. So last time it was only to 26 minutes to unlock the archer. If we survive till 14, we get gold. Kill 5,000 enemies in a run, five, uh, 500 gold. So gold is our out of game progression. It's in the bottom left. I'm covering it because I hate you guys. Uh, defeat the skeleton lord. Um, 70, 750,000 damage with arcane splinters. Okay. So then, shrine of blessings. Okay. These blessings will strengthen your heroes permanently. So this is how we spend our money here. Health, defense, movement, speed, range, area, pickup range. We'll do a pickup range. We'll do a... Uh, movement speed. And that's all I can afford. And then I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Looks like there is more in the camp that will maybe get unlocked as we play the game here. Glad it's not a copy and it's its own thing with a nice twist. Yeah, that's why I don't play too many Bullet Heavens anymore. Because, like, I don't know. There, there's not a ton of uniqueness. But this seems really cool here. Choose your destination in the Halls of Torment. Haunted Caverns or the Ember Grounds. Well, the quest here was specifically for... Well, Haunted Caverns. Oh, Ember Grounds also then says, Enter the Ember Grounds and, west, es, and rescue the Well Keeper. Okay. Well... I don't know if it's harder or not. Haunted Caverns, Embergrounds. So we have unlocked the Embergrounds. So let's do that. We're going there with the Ranger here. This is a cool game. I could see this being a new series or mini series. Let me know if you guys want to see more on the YouTube thing. But okay. So we got a rescue. This was the quest here. Praise the gods. Another mortal soul. We got voice acting? You release me from this wretched cage. The key must be somewhere nearby. Okay, we gotta find the key. We gotta find the key for the well keeper. It's over here. I see a lot of halls in your future. <laughs> so I like the piers. So range will probably be important. I don't know what the hell this is. Whoa, the key is a person. The key was us all along. We could get an ability if we go 500, but I'll probably wait. Pick up range, force, range. Increases how far a melee attack can hit or how... F okay, projectiles. Range seems important if we have piercing. I like every time you level up, you push everyone away. Um, increases the area of effect or the angle of an attack cone. Health. Let's go a little bit. Of, actually, force. Please check their stats. I don't know what force is. For us here. I don't know what force would do for us here. Oh, piercing. Oh, so for us, piercing or force impacts our piercing and our max duration. Okay. Honestly, this isn't even that complicated of a game. Like, it seems like it's got a lot of depth, but it's not overwhelming at all. Damage area, base block strength, probably damage or something. Pickup range might be better because otherwise you're killing things that are too far away. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm trying to get a little pickup range for sure. You know, we finally managed to sleep after one of the worst insomnia weeks in ages just for it to be three damn hours. Damn, I'm sorry about that, dude. Yeah, I have a couple other friends that uh, deal with a bunch of sleep stuff and um, I know it is not fun. Hopefully you're able to Get some, not being able to sleep is one of the most frustrating things on the planet. Okay, come on. There we go. Fire. Ooh, got a little bit of fire. That was really good. Ooh, I'm a gamer. I know how to play video games. Look at me. Um, okay. 
Need some more movement speed here. Damage and force. Yeah. We'll take that here. Shall definitely take that. Crit bonus. I'm just gonna keep taking force. I want the ultimate pierceness. I love being able to aim as well. Like, I have it on auto attack, so I don't have to hold it down. But, like, being able to uh, aim gives the game a lot more depth. Oh, God. Now there's another boss. Now there's another boss. I, I, I'm almost done with this first boss. Um, okay, more attack speed. Okay, we got the key. We got the key. We got the key. Sorry I'm late and had to work, still working, done enough to be lazy. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Glad to have y'all here. Uh, multi-strike. Ooh. I am almost half health though here, so let's go make sure we open up the coffin. This game's really good. Okay. You're back. Please free me from this accursed place. Quick, the shadows are closing in. Insomnia is just a subathon without a camera. <laughs> Okay, so we did that quest. He's running away. Okay, I hope we find a vacuum at some point. Otherwise, I'm going to go start going to the right here to get the uh, another ability. Happens, but Copper is a great point. The day I decide to do a subathon should be pretty easy. Yeah, it's just training. <laughs> it's just good old training. Okay, we'll get some more attack speed here. I really want my attack speed to be, like, insanely high. Oh, there is a vacuum top left. Yeah, you're right. Come on, get him in the fire. Come on. Ooh. There we go. Oh, shit. I took a lot of damage there. New ability, though. Lightning Strike. Okay, did we have a quest for Phantom Needles? Fires needles at random nearby enemies in quick succession. Multi-Strike increases the fire rate. Which we were already doing Multi-Strike. Uh, let's get... Uh... How are... Agility or fast? Movement speed, base movement speed? What? Wouldn't I take the better one? Well, that might lead into other things. This music's pretty good, too. The presentation, like, I feel like I'm playing, like, an old Diablo-style game. It's pretty amazing, actually. Oh, shit. I am, I'm really weak, though. Okay, we're, we're, we're 50 away here. The art design is cool as fuck. Yeah, absolutely agree. Because it makes it different than a lot of the bullet heavens just stay with the, the pixel art, you know? Uh, throws alternate blades left and right like boomerangs. They pass you and fly off screen. Multi-strike increases their frequency. So now we have two things. We now have two things that are uh, getting buffed with multi-strike here. So we're definitely gonna try to get as much multi-strike as we can. Oh wait, we have a quest, so it always tells us, okay, so there's a quest. Oh, is that only for the swordsman? Acquire strength four? Well, I'm not the swordsman. What is this? Temporary attack speed bonus thanks to Berserk Rage. More damage, more area, or more crit chance of the ability. Crit chance in general. We'll just say damage up. 
Can't go wrong with damage, probably. So there's another ability bottom left. It seems like it just spawns stuff randomly far away. Probably to give you just a reason to go somewhere. Because a lot of these bullet... Oh, I'm about to die. A lot of these bullet heavens really struggle with, like... Having no motivation to go anywhere. <sighs> okay, I healed 40 in a me You take a lot of damage in this game. Probably with this character as well. Oh god, I'm one hit away from being dying. I don't want to die. Can I die to fire? What is this? Ember Eye? I don't know what that is. Found something that wasn't even on the map. Problem is, yeah, I, I need this vacuum. Until this, I mean, I, I'm going to level up like two or three times. I'm eating my carrots like a good boy. Oh, don't know why I decided to skip streams to try and sleep. Streaming actually helps insomnia somewhat. Serotonin to melatonin pipeline or something. Yeah, you'll, you'll eventually, I'm sure, get into a good routine or something, you know, with it. Uh, okay, more crit chance. I just need this vacuum. Oh god, now we got like a little elite or whatever. Oh, I just found a free vacuum. Okay. Oh, see, there we go. There's the level ups. More crit chance. More damage. Crit bonus and crit chance. Oh my gosh, we did level up so much. Uh, more attack speed on the needle ability. <laughs> we level up so much. Okay, I'm gonna get more health. It's still going. More, uh, more regeneration. We're still leveling up. <laughs> Um, more, okay, multi oh, multi-strike, but it's only for our main weapon, but whatever. So I guess I probably could just run and try to go get this other vacuum. I like that these elites seem to actually have, like, really cool actual, like, they feel like actual boss fights, you know? Nice, I got him on fire. There we go, Def okay, I got an achievement, defeat the flame dancer. They're, they're guarding my chest here though. Okay, force. Force helps with the pierce and range or whatever. There we go. Okay, so uh, bl base block strength and health, more crit chance, or base defense and movement speed. Wait, owned? Oh. Okay, well, let's get the crit chance. So yeah, I am, it, I'm curious if the gear is, uh, is meta progression, you know? Okay, so we got another uh, vacuum here. Uh, let's get more damage on the uh, the needles there. And then there's another ability if we go down. Let's get more crit. More, I guess more crit bonus. So we're 500 away. Survive the Embergrounds until there's only 22 minutes left. So we got that achievement. Look at us, being an achievement hunter. My, uh, my 80 or- Oh, kill a thousand enemies in one visit to the Embergrounds. All my, uh, what is it? My, like, I don't know. We probably have, like, 80, 80, 90 Vampire Survivors videos. What if, what if this is the new, the new game we have 80 episodes in? I could see. The game definitely seems like it's got the depth for it. Uh, more movement speed. Hopefully we'll find another vacuum, because obviously we are leaving a lot of uh, stuff. 
Okay, what is this? What is this? Oh, it's a big meatball. It's a big meatball. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, the big meatball. Oh god, the big meatball. Oh, I want to kill it. Meatballs. No. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no! He was almost dead. He was almost dead. We got four achievements complete, though. Okay. Oh. So now we get even more heroes. So now there's an exterminator. Sets enemies on fire and focuses on burn chance and damage. Each level gives you more base damage, base burn chance, burn damage, and defense. And you get a flame caster. Rapidly admits flames that set enemies on fire. Absolutely. So, oh, there's now an item stash in the Wellkeeper. You've earned my deepest gratitude. For the rescue, of course. And since we've made such a great team down there, I have a proposition for you. Okay. This well has dried up a long time ago. Now it leads to the very halls you helped me escape. But if you ever happen to find the other end, you might want to drop a trinket into the bucket. Then I hoist it up and make it available to you up here. What do you say? Fair enough. Okay. You can buy new items for the well keeper once you've sent them up to the well. So I own these already? So, okay, we're gonna say more attack speed. We're gonna say base defense, base. all right, we'll get movement speed. Base defense and health. Okay. Okay. And then we have 1,700 gold. We're gonna go ahead and say more pickup range. We're gonna say more area. More defense. We got some more meta progression. Let's see if anything else has probably been opened up. Probably not. Okay. So. So haunted caverns. We still have survive until there's 14. Kill 5,000. Uh, damage with arcane splinters. Defeat the skeleton lord. In the ember grounds, there's a lot more until there's two minutes left. Collect the cracked ember eye. Defeat the worm queen. Wraith warlord. Send one item up from halls of torment. 12 minutes. This is so cool the way that the achievements open up other ones, you know? Story path of the sword. Acquire the strength. The straight strength four. Then we need main weapon, ring blades. So all of these, oh, path of the sword. Oh my gosh. So you have entire quests for the swords guy? Oh, and this is what's tracking. You have entire quests for the story of the arrow. Then the scorched earth. That is crazy. Okay, so what is this? Reach level 30? Okay, yeah, that's our challenge, totally. Uh, you know what, and we're gonna go back to the haunted caverns. So haunted caverns, survive till 14 minutes, defeat the skeleton lord. Okay, I'm gonna actually, yeah, highlight the arcane splinters so I know to take that. What happens if I go over here? Register of the halls. Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the haunted caverns here. Probably do like one more run or something. It can't be that scary. I killed him in one shot with a meatball for God's sake. <laughs> oh, it's just straight up a flamethrower. It's just straight up a flamethrower. Oh, here's the well. Leave one item here to send it up to the surface. Sent items can be bought and used for all future runs. So we, if we already own it, that's cool. There's a vacuum up there we're not going to need for a little bit. There's an ability down here, so let's go grab the ability. Um, just, uh, you know, some damage here. Arson is the way of life. Yeah, this is uh, pretty sick here. So we need arcane splinters. 
That's the uh, the thing that we're gonna find down here. This flamethrower is pretty sick. But the fact that there's quests for all of the different characters, quests for the stages. Okay, we're gonna take uh, force because yeah, what does force do for us here? Force on this character. Multi strike gives us more projectiles. Force is damage multiply fire per hit, max duration, and piercing. So force is still really good. So it seems like force is is decent. Does it have good pierce? It seems like it has decent pierce. And obviously we can if we keep getting more force or whatever. This flamethrower is sick. The sound design is so cool. It is so satisfying hearing these skeletons crunch. Okay, um, let's get uh, a little bit more movement speed. And we already have a little bit more from those boots. Flamethrowers typically have pretty good pierce, yeah. Oh, seems like it's good against those shield guys. Yeah, I don't think I've played a Bullet Heaven in a long t like a new Bullet Heaven in a long time that's made me so excited uh, as this. Okay, we're gonna go, um... Let's get some base regeneration. When we actually start taking some damage. So we're not super low the whole time. It sounds like a pile of pencils. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what the uh, Foley artist, uh used or this might just be a sound from a sound pack but whoever did that obviously well, I was about to say skeletons don't exist but they definitely do exist they just aren't all animated flamethrowers are historically known for their aptitude against crowds and their brutality yeah burn chance and burn damage absolutely skeletons do indeed Exist, I can confirm. Okay, the, uh, the little weird things are here. Dude, the flamethrower, I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. I feel like this is the best start we've had uh, in a while. Okay, phantom needles. That's what we wanted, right? No, it was arcane splinters. Okay, that's fine. I really like this. Dude, the flamethrower is insane. Maybe it's because it's the first time we have, like, gear equipped to us? I don't know. More attack speed for our weapon. Sure. There's already another elite here. Okay, noob. Okay, arcane splinters. Oh, but flame strike. No, we got to do the quests, right? We're quest gamers here. Shoot short range projectiles on vertical spread pattern. Projectiles remain for a short while while dealing damage. Yeah. Yeah. I highlighted the quest for a reason. Uh, more force. Um, I guess we could start heading up for the vacuum. I don't know. Uh, let's get base block strength. Let's actually get some of that. I knew a skeleton once. He was a little shit. Kept making puns and thrashed my ass six ways from Sunday. <laughs> okay, we're half health. I need to stop taking damage here. I need to stop taking damage. Okay, let's get, uh... So, base block strength. Block strength is checks before defense. If the block value equals the unreduced damage received from the attack, chance to block it is 50%. If the block value is four times higher, uh, the, the chance to block it becomes... We'll never know. I'm assuming 100%. Or base defense reduces damage taken by a certain ratio. Negative defense increase. Negative defense increases received damage. We'll get a little bit more defense here. 
We take so much damage every time we get hit. Someone in the world is always pregnant. The average number of skeletons inside the human body is slightly greater than one. I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like thinking about it like that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the actual quest was for how long we were supposed to potentially try to stay alive on this. Uh, base regener- oh, let's just get more damage. Just straight up more damage. This flamethrower goes freaking hard. Goes absolutely hard. I just love being able to aim myself. Okay, so we could make those arcane splinters have more attack speed, but they're smaller. Sure, I'll upgrade that regardless, because that's that's what we're trying to get, right? We have 15,000 damage on it. We're trying to get to 750,000 damage. Welcome, welcome, Balthazar. What's his face? Everybody else here popping in? Burning, holy fire. <laughs> um, health and defense, sure. Yeah, this is uh, Hulls of Torment. It's like a new uh, one point. It just came out in 1.0 maybe a week or two ago. Like a Bullet Heaven Diablo style game, but it's really fucking good. Gotta say. More range. So we tried out the swords character, we tried out the archer character, and now we're burning everybody. Yeah, I guess we go for the vacuum at this point. I still don't need the well. We haven't gotten any new gear, or loot, or anything. Uh, let's get a little bit more health. Sure. I'm trying to actually build a bit more defense on this. Especially because I know as we go later on, especially with fire, I imagine we're going to, you know, damage over time. Some of them might stay a little bit more alive than I'm expecting. So having a little bit of uh, tanky on the flamethrower character here seems like it'd be a good idea. So look how, look at the progress bar here. Not very far. 43,000 out of 750,000. Okay, hello elite. Dude. The flamethrower destroys the elites. Flamethrower absolutely mercs them. Visually looks a lot like Diablo 1. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very much inspired by like the original Diablo games. Absolutely. Uh, more, t uh, actually no, fuck it, more damage. Nice. So this is going to be some loot. More base defense, movement speed, base damage. Summons imps that attack enemies? Oh, I love that. Okay, but but okay, but now I'm actually going to I am going to probably immediately get rid of it so we can send it up. Oh, those are our imps. That's so cool. Dude, this game's got summons. New favorite game. Summons in my video game? Where's the well? Well's over here. We're gonna bring up this, send item up. Okay, we got an achievement for it. We're not allowed to send anything else up. So now we no longer have those imps, though they're still here. Though I'm assuming he just needs to die. Yep, he's dead. Um, so no more summon imps, but we'll always be able to have that ring in the future. Um, yeah, I guess we level up arcane splinters even more. Because I want to see if we could complete that quest, though it looks like we're nowhere close to it. 66,000 out of 750,000. Summons in my video games? More likely than you might think. <laughs> 
summons in my video game. Okay, we're almost to the vacuum. More attack speed. Dude, this flamethrower is kicking ass. We still haven't gotten a new ability spawn yet. Okay, there's the vacuum. And now I can just kind of stay here. There's no reason for me to explore until there's something. I did get an achievement to feed 300 or do 300,000 fire damage in one run. Definitely going to just upgrade our um, flamethrower. Ooh, multi-strike in area. Yeah, upgrade our flamethrower. Um, sure, attack speed of those phantom needles. Because that's kind of nice in case anyone actually does get a little bit too close to us. More attack speed ability on that phantom strike. Starting to crowd around me here. I was like, skeleton mages, get out of here. Get out of here, skeleton mages. Oh, yeah, my defense is so much better now. I didn't take it like a billion damage. It's pretty nice. TCG has two sides, Sniper Boy and Summoner. <laughs> You'd make a really amusing Isekai protagonist. <laughs> that is true. Sounds so satisfying. I know, right? Just hearing them crumble and... <laughs> okay, no. Nope. That is not what a skeleton sounds like. Maybe what a little fucking gremlin sounds like. Today I learned I cannot make a skeleton crunching noise with my mouth. Oh, fuck you. Okay, uh, health defense. Force, force, force. So we're level 23, I think. So I'm pretty sure this is the farthest we've gotten, maybe. Just spin your neck in a 360 degree. <laughs> It'll make a similar sound. Um, regeneration and movement speed. Okay, okay, that could be good. Because we are going to maybe start taking more damage. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we need the arcane splinters to be 750,000 damage. We're only at 132,000. A little bit harder than we thought it was going to be. More, yeah, attack speed on our main weapon. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. I'm sorry, the video just got copyright claimed. Felt it in my soul. Uh, more health. Oh, now it's summoning bigger ones that summon smaller. So I think these are just slimes. At first, I thought they were like, like fucking oysters or some shit. It still hasn't uh, spawned any new abilities. Okay, here's an elite. He might give us something. The flamethrower seems incredible against elites. So that was a shield. There we go. Okay, ring blades, frost ave, avalanche. Strikes random enemies with lightning and stuns enemies surrounding the target. Hit enemies get inflicted with spark, which is spark does 100 damage per stack applied to the enemy each tick. Each stack decreases the tick time. Each time spark ticks, it's reduced by one stack. We'll do that. Uh, more range. Oh, geez. Took a lot of damage. I don't know if their, their damage is starting to go up. Get more base regeneration. 
I really want it to be okay if I take damage, you know? We've, we've definitely been investing more in defense than we have on the other two builds. Okay, Arcane Splinters. I'm gonna just keep leveling up Arcane Splinters. More damage, less force. Get Arcane Splinters to rank 3 to be able to select ability upgrades. Ooh. So hopefully that damage up. We're, we're making a little bit of progress on that quest. Reach level 30. That was also an achievement. Health defense. So it looks like certain things only show up when you get to a certain level. It's like, I'm, you know, more force would never show up until we get to level 30, you know? Versus like this lightning strike upgrade could show up anytime past level 8. So that's kind of a cool way to do it. Um, okay. More force. So we're at about 200k out of the 750k. Mm, more attack speed. See, so that one only shows up uh, after level 15 or not. That's a really cool way to do upgrades. To actually make it feel like your overall level number matters. Versus it just truly meaning like how many upgrades you got. Like in Vampire Survivors. Gives it a bit more depth too. It was like Hellhounds or something. See, level 30, right? Normally just, you know... A 10% more damage doesn't show up until, yeah, level 30. That's a really cool way to do upgrades. Yeah, almost like a talent tree, a little bit, yeah. Um, see, so as you can see, I've not taken any more of the area upgrades, so it's still just the level 1 version. Um, let's get more base defense here. Really trying to have a well-rounded build here. What is this? Temporary damage bonus thanks to Unholy. Oh, I think we might have might have picked up a vacuum. Get more range. Oh, there's like poison ones now. I'm assuming I would take damage if I went in that poison. I don't think we're going to get the arcane splinters thing, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. We're at 250 out of 750. We're almost one-third of the way there. Looks like seven, if we were to last forever, it looks like we have 17 more minutes. Ooh, dedication three, heat, more regeneration, more movement speed. Sounds good to me. This build's working out though. Definitely seems like it's working out. More damage on the Phantom Needles. Sure. Get Phantom Needles to rank 3 to be able to select ability upgrades. Okay. So I'm curious when we're able to do that. There's a symbol there. I don't think I picked the ability yet. Oh, okay, yeah. The auto attack had turned off. There we go. Ooh, Hellfire, more burn chance, more burn damage! Yes, sir! And I like that it seems like there's probably gonna be way less characters in this game than in something like Vampire Survivors, but the characters gent like feel like way more different than each other. I got an achievement deal a million fire damage in one run. Uh, more attack speed. Yeah, I believe. I believe. We got this. We got this. Kill 5,000 enemies in one run. 10% uh, attack speed on the Phantom Needles. Sure. Okay. This is probably one of those bosses. Oh, I think we... I don't know if we already beat this guy. No, probably not. This is probably a new boss that we'll get another achievement for. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually remember. Dude, the fire shreds elites. Got an achievement. That was the Skeleton Lord. <sighs> okay. 50% crit chance. 
Okay, well, we can't send anything new up here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and now take the demonic bond. So now we actually get the ring that we're going to be able to spawn with in the future. So now we actually are back to having summons. That makes me pretty happy. We're about 320,000 out of 750 of the arcane splinters. Okay, arcane splinters charging. Level it up even more, sure. More attack speed, less projectile size. Trying to upgrade that as much as possible. And still nothing really spawning on the map here. Oh, that shows how many imps are summoned, I think. So I can have a max of 10 summons. Normally I'm sitting around two or three. More attack speed on the phantom needles. So I can either go sharpness or attack speed. Uh, I'm gonna go attack speed. Because I really just want it to hit anyone close to me that hasn't died to my flamethrower. I think attack speed's more important. And those splinters kind of creating... A, not like a shield, but almost like a shield around me on the ground. Like a little minefield. Um... More health. I want to make sure I don't get overwhelmed and just instantly die. Trying to trying to do a well-balanced build here. I'm curious if this game ends up is going to have like later down. Oh, deal 200,000 burn damage in one run. Just another achievement. Yeah, having these games be ba based around the, uh, the uh, achievements. Oh, it's so good. That's why I love Vampire Survivors so much. Okay, level up Arcane Splinters, even more attack speed, less projectile size. Survive the Haunted Caverns until there's only 14 minutes left. So that was the next achievement we needed for this map here. So I imagine there's going to be now one for beating it or getting to like two minutes. All those skeleton ma or, or mages spawning. Oh, now we have big slimes. That turn into the medium slimes. Game's definitely picked up in difficulty. <sighs> oh, jeez. Out of experience. Deal 750,000 damage with phantom needles. Oh, so okay. <laughs> we didn't get the arcane splinters one, but we got the phantom needles one. <laughs> We're about halfway on the this other one here. Okay, sure. More base defense. Pickup range might have been nice, honestly. Just depends on how often the game gives you vacuums, you know. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're starting to get a little overwhelmed. We're starting to get a little overwhelmed. Oh no. That's why I'm glad I didn't do the pickup thing. Okay. Yeah, we'll bu uh, buff up the lightning ability here because I'm sure there's some achievements for that too dude I hope we can get the arcane splinters we're now at 500k out of 750k the more it spawns enemies the more damage it's going to be doing Um, more range, more range. I need this flamethrower just hitting, like, everyone in the crowd that I'm pointing at. Dude, I think we might, I, I, I have faith. I have faith that we can win this run. Walk 8,000 meters in one run was a, uh, achievement for this character in particular. My guess is, at least at the beginning, there's only going to be these three characters. Though, I don't know, maybe it just keeps unlocking more characters and they each have their own, you know, skill tree or whatever. Uh, more attack speed of the lightning. Really don't care about crit on this build. Okay, okay. There's like an elite skeleton mage. Oh, he's teleporting. Oh my god, and the hellhounds too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh god, the game's getting hard. Oh, the game's getting hard. Okay, more damage on the Phantom Needles. Okay, wait a minute, so... I guess I'm still allowed to get damage. That was a level 48. So I guess you just pick one and then you don't get offered the other until a higher level or something. I don't know. Come on, he's almost dead. Then I can just focus on whoever's near me. Is he dead? Where's he? Where's he at? There we go. We're gonna level up Arcane Splinters. Way more damage. A little less force. Okay, Phantom Rift. When needles disappear... Oh, so this is... Okay, this is the upgrade. Phantom Needles. When needles disappear, deals magic damage in an area. Damage increases for each remaining piercing. Uh, count multiplied by damage and crit. Cool. So we got an upgrade for it. Oh, I can see those explosions. That's huge. That's cool. Okay, so that's what the upgrade stuff is. You can do it. Keep going. I... I... Y'all believe in me. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try here. We're almost at the 750,000 of the arcane splinters, at least. Oh, just 10% force. Absolutely. See, a lot of these things, see, we're able to get those now that we're level 50. Yeah, we're about to get it. Um, more, 10% more damage straight up. Let's go. Love that. We have killed uh, over 10,000 enemies so far. And we're about to get that achievement in the top left for the uh, arcane splinters. Uh, more range. Got very quiet at minute 10. That scares me. Bunch of slimes. There we go. There's the achievement for the arcane stuff. So we just have theoretically nine minutes left to beat the level. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try real hard though, because we have a cool build. At the very least, we have made so much progress on the achievements. Which obviously seems like the point of the game. Uh, more attack speed on the lightning. So now we're able to upgrade that in the future now that we've gotten three upgrades. If we get offered it again. Uh, we still could upgrade the uh, arcane splinters if we get lucky. I wonder if we'll eventually be able to get like rerolls or something. A lot of uh, experience here. Taking a lot of damage. That's why I'm glad we had some of this defense. Uh, yeah, 6% more attack speed. So there's like a couple of those stats, even though that doesn't sound the most exciting, right? We weren't able to get any more attack speed until we hit level 50. So the second I see that level 50 thing, I'm like, ooh, okay, okay. I'm sure a vacuum would net us a lot, even though we've been in around the same area. We've probably been like drifting a little bit. Yeah, the poison on the ground. Oh man, starting to get hurt. Okay, let's get more uh, more health regeneration, as we are starting to get more and more hurt. Want to make sure I'm staying healthy, like the good pyromancer I am. The gems look really cool. Uh-oh, got- oh, okay, okay, here we go, an elite. I bet this is an achievement here. Ooh, okay, summoning skeletons. Deal 750,000 damage with phantom needles. Got that achievement, too. We are getting achievements left and right this run. Um, more base health. She's dead. So that was the Lich. Dude, we've gotten so many achievements. Okay, I have room for one more ring. 
More crit chance, uh, more base da uh, base damage. I imagine for something like a flamethrower, that would be pretty crazy. Because if that's each of the individual, you know, if that's happening before all our damage value stuff, we just have seven and a half more minutes here. Something tells me the flamethrower might be a bit overtuned. Well, and part of it might be that we, we got the gear, right? Our first two runs, we didn't have the gear. And now this was the first run we actually got to start with the gear, right? And we got more meta progression. There is meta progression in this game. Um, okay, arcane splinters. Gonna level that up even more. More attack speed on that. But that's the cool thing about... You know, there being quests for every character is like, say, say the flamethrower guy is, is, uh, stronger than the rest, right? You know, you could have a lot of fun with the flamethrower guy, do all the quests, and maybe some of the other, like, location quests, but eventually, you know, if you're trying to do all the quests in this game, I imagine, you're gonna, you are gonna have to go back to the other classes, you know? That's the beauty of, like, games not being multiplayer or competitive. It's like, if certain things are stronger than others, sometimes it's okay. And we don't even know if that's the case, right? <laughs> We've only played for an hour so far. The gear mainly adds some extra health. Any fast-firing weapon with piercing and high base damage gets stupid really easily. I could see that. Uh, okay, we're gonna level up the lightning even more. Get it more conductive. We've now dealt three million fire damage in one run. Yet another achievement for the flamethrower's quests. I can't wait to see all the quests that we've completed. I'm, I also just, I really want to win this to see what it's like at, if you beat a level. Like, is it ascensions? Like, there's going to be, you know, this hall level two or, you know, what? Kill 15,000 enemies in one run. Just got the achievement for. Getting achievements left and right. Big crowds. Okay, more Phantom Needle, Fire Rate. Sure. Yeah, especially because Phantom Needles actually has, like, the upgrade. Right? Uh, deal 10 million damage over all runs. We just got the achievement for. A lot of enemies here now. This is this is now starting to feel like uh, vampire survivors here. That's for sure. Reach level sixty. That's an achievement. Sure, more base dan uh, defense wasn't a, the best upgrade, but I don't know. Defense is good. Defense is good. Hearing the skeletons crunch is so satisfying. Really want a vacuum. Or I want an upgrade of one of the abilities that we have. More attack speed of the lightning, sure. I'm trying to show the actual abilities as much love as I can. Only person on my team still at work right now. I think you should yell from at the top of your lungs. Fuck this shit, I'm out, and then just walk out. That's that's the that's your uh, friendly bad advice for t uh, the day. Lol, I work from home. <laughs> still stands. <laughs> Sound advice with TTG. <laughs> Um, definitely going that lightning. Oh, just had to get some stretchy poos. Okay, we got four under four minutes. Will we be able to do it? Find out this week on time, time, time to grind the YouTube channel. Free stretch as well. You stretch in without a stretch redeem in this economy.
you know, sometimes, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if the demand is, uh, too low, you know, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta artificially increase the demand by, uh, introducing things into the economy. I don't know. Crit chance, area radius, the lightning, sure, sounds good. Trickle down stretchonomics. <laughs> It'll all trickle down, don't worry. Don't worry. See, when I get my eighth yacht, y'all, Ooh, deal 1.5 million with Arcane Splinters. That's over double what we had here. That's insane. But yeah, when I get my 8th yacht, y'all, I promise, I promise I'll trickle on you guys a little bit, you know? I promise. So just get me to the position where I can buy my 8th yacht and I'll trickle all over. But only at my 8th yacht. See, that's, that's why... Trickle down economics don't work, you know, because, you know, everybody gets mad at these billionaires when they buy their sixth and seventh yacht. But what you don't know is that once they get their eighth yacht, and once I get my eighth yacht, that's when the trickling starts going down, you know? That's when it goes down. <laughs> and hey, Baltazar, <laughs> thank you for the five gifted. We're on our way to our first yacht. <laughs> all we've ever wanted, Mr. Grind. I don't know, 8 might be too low, go for 10. <laughs> More attack speed on the lightning. Oh, and we got a, and we got a, uh, we got a, we got a stretch as well. Or stretch for the, the 5 gifted, I will, uh, I will, I will take that. I will take 5 gifted as a redemption for a stretch. You know what, I'll stretch while we're playing. Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Settings, auto aim. Okay. Ugh. Survive the haunted caverns until there's only two minutes left. Okay. No! Oh! I unfull screened it. Out of curiosity, do you get anything when we spend channel points? Or is it just dopamine? Just dopamine. Yeah, there's. Uh, I don't get anything from it besides the satisfaction of a job well done. Three million damage with phantom needles. The eighth yacht is the critical point. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the point where, you know, I can afford to trickle a little bit, you know? Okay, Phantom Needles getting upgraded here. So I don't know. I think we got it here. Let's see. We got a minute and a half. Hopefully, we'll get to see what happens when we beat a run here. Man, I love being able to freely aim myself. Okay, less than a minute. Move to a desert by yacht, tow it on a trailer all around town. <laughs> no, I'll do that when I get my ninth yacht. The first date gotta be in the water, you know. How else are you gonna host, you know, P. Diddy style parties without anyone knowing? You gotta be in the open water. <laughs> you know, because the implication. 1.5 million with the lightning strikes. We are getting a little bit low here, though. These last 30 seconds are not gonna fuck around. Holy shit, get off my dick. Fuck, 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 fuck. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what happens? Oh God, oh God, this is the final boss. Final boss time. So it's not death that just instantly kills you, which is cool. Got new music playing as well. Oh shit. Fuck! Get off me! I think the lightning slowed him down for a second. Oh, level up. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, arcane splinters here. <clears throat> Is 
This music's sick. Uh oh. I think we're almost there. Unless he has like a phase two. Did we do it? Oh, there is a phase two. How'd I know? How'd I know? Okay, no way there's a phase three. Glad we have such high range on this. This feels like a Diablo boss fight, you know? Like, this is, this is, there are not boss fights this cool in Vampire Survivors, and I love that game, but. Did we do it? There we go, defeat the Lord of Pain. We got a Torment Shard. I got an achievement for defeating him and killing one Lord. Congratulations, you survived the Haunted Caverns. Look at all these achievements we got. Let's go. Okay. Dude, we murdered him. We murdered him. So let's see what let's see what the game looks like if we were to turn this into a series and play a little bit more. Oh, oh, it is it's just gonna keep giving us new characters. So there's the cleric in the future. That's sick. That is sick. So obviously if we go here, right, now we have. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hello. Oh, you have to pay for the things. 5,000 gold, okay. 5,000, that's a use for the gold. So now I can always spawn with a ring, the, the imp ring. Let's look at the, uh, well, I guess we could do this blessing here, right? Give us more health, give us more. Oh, burn damage now is a thing. Revive, ooh. Wait a minute, well, we're going to refund area. I like that you can do that. We're going to refund burn and refund health and refund movement speed so we could have a revive. Revives are pretty cracked. Um, more health. Cool. So look at all these quests here now, right? So now it's like don't deal damage with abilities for 30 minutes. Must be completed before Lord spawns. Deal three. I mean, there's just so many because now we have... Right, the Haunted Caverns, um, which actually, yeah, how does this work? Collect the Protective Pendant, kill slime, skeletons, hellhounds. Collect the Protective Pendant. So some of these, you know. Arcane Splinters. We still have the Ember Grounds, Path of the Sword, Swift of the Arrow, Scorched Earth. Now we have Unholy Crusade. We still have these milestones here. Milestones too. So what does it look like if I try to play this Haunted Caverns again here? Does it just... I'm not gonna do another run here. I don't wanna do another run here. Expect some compensation when you get there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so, okay, it doesn't look like... Uh, yeah, I don't know if it like scales up difficulty automatically or how really that works. But either way, this game is freaking sick. I I could definitely see this being a series at some point in the future. I'm just making sure there's nothing else that we're missing here uh, in the camp here. It doesn't seem like it here. Um, so this is a cool game. This is a freaking cool, absolutely cool game. So, uh, you know, if you guys want to see more of this in the future, definitely let me know. You guys know I love some bullet heavens when they're actually like a, a, a game that, I don't know, is good. Uh, and not just a copy-paste clone of, you know, every, every other, you know, bullet heaven. Uh, but yeah, man, so uh, definitely let me know if you want to see more. You know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like other big boy YouTubers say, uh, to be notified um, if or when more Halls of Torment videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you're going to be grinding out some of this game on your own, then I wish you guys luck, and I'll see you all next time.